This may be one of the greatest updates of all time. First off, yes, I did shave my beard. Second off, we have some really cool things to talk about that are going to be coming out in this update, including the new power of the 223 rifle. We're talking about some really new features with the alligator and the crocodiles, and we're talking about the new map of Australia coming up soon. All right, let's start off by talking about probably one of the coolest features of this upcoming update, and that is something that we've been wanting to have happen for a long time. I'm talking years. We got a huge stag out there for one, but that is not what we're talking about for now. What we're talking about is being able to take the AR-308 and actually being able to make something happen with it, like this. So that shot was a beautiful shot, but we never really had the capability of being able to take a 300 plus yard shot with the AR-223. That is until now, because we're finally getting a full buff of the 223. And that means anything that's calibered in 223, the 223 bolt action rifle and the 223 AR is going to have a big boost in the power as well as the knockdown power and the penetration for instance our feral goat was right here and you can see that that is no organs hit but it should have definitely been at least a liver or potentially a lung shot and up until now we've just had to deal with this there's nothing we could have done about it well, not exactly. In fact, there is something that we did, however, do, and that is we let our voices be heard. We spoke up, and by the power of all of us, we've convinced the developers to be able to increase the power of the T23, and now the T23 is going to be a fully viable rifle to not only be able to hunt small game, but also to even be able to hunt the white-tailed deer. We were watching the stream this morning, and you could see this thing has some unbelievable amount of kinetic energy as well as knockdown power and penetration that is just something we never thought we were going to see zeroed in for 75 now let's see what you will do for me baby be good to me now okay we just heart shot from front on with the 223 a white tail and i do believe that that may be our feral goat Yes, it is in fact him. So that should definitely be a nice vital hit. Well, they both should have been a nice vital hit. Who are we kidding, you know? But as you can see right here, that is again, a no organs hit. Yeah, so it was actually interesting because Jaxi was testing it out on some whitetail and it was doing a phenomenal job. I'm talking dropping whitetail deer right in his tracks at about 80 yards out with the 223. But now we're showing kind of how it doesn't work like the previous version, in a sense. Oh, I really just need one to hit into it. And I think that actually may connect. Holy, we're running out of breath and I couldn't quite get a squeeze on that shot. But eventually we did take the shot. I'm just hoping it connected. Yes, it did connect. We did in fact get one more hit into it. We got another no organs hit. So that should take him down. He's officially hit three times with the AR-223, and we are going to find out where we actually did hit this thing. For once, and for all. I saw a turkey land over there. 150 yards out. Got him. Well, that'll take him down for sure. We actually weren't even able to spot that thing, and I do believe... Okay, no, that's not our goat. I thought our goat was piled up right there, but... As you can see, he is still running at 50% health, and it is nowhere near going down at this point. So let's swing by real quick and pick up our gobbler. I do believe it was a gobbler. In fact, I don't even know if it was a gobbler, to be honest. Kind of seemed like it was. Oh yeah, that's a gobbler if I ever seen one there. Light brown right lung shot at 165 yards. I forgot that we can not actually use the AR-223 on the turkey, but... 4.27 but let's get back over here on the track of our feral goat and see if he finally did in fact go down after three shots 
with the AR-223. Now, the AR-223 is going to be an absolutely beast of a rifle when we hunt coyotes now at this point. Because, like I was saying before, not only is the 223 bolt action getting a lot of uh, work, but the AR-223 is also getting the same amount of work. So it's going to have the same exact amount of performance as the 223 bolt action rifle. Except this thing is going to shoot super fast. All right, we got blood there. Going down here. This thing is still running. We kicked up something right there. Oh my god, catch your breath. Catch your breath, dude. Please catch your breath. That'll work. <laughs> that will work. Holy. We were trying so hard to catch our breath and be able to beat down and take a nice shot. But we were able to do it, finally. And it appears this feral goat is nowhere near going down again. I still cannot believe that our feral goat did not go down yet with three hits from the AR-223. Like, I'm kind of flabbergasted at the fact that it didn't even go down yet. I really, really am. Oh, look at the tusks on that thing. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a four. A huge four. 116 gold. A beautiful quartering lung, liver, intestine shot. 119 yards out. But a huge black feral hog. Look at that thing right there. Man, great tusks and everything. Just an awesome hog to take down. So I do believe there actually may be another one right below this ridge here. So let's just kind of peek over there and see if we can't get lucky enough to spot it real quick. Oh yeah. There they go. Uh, that one may be a decent four. Alright, got him. Try for a back of the next shot. Did not connect on that, but we did in fact get him uh, in the jaw and the follow-up shot. Ended up getting a liver stomach shot. He was in fact a four. A look at that shot. What a lucky shot. Liver, stomach, and spine, 181 gold. But not only that, we also kicked up that huge mythical stag. <sighs> Got him. <laughs> And we also kicked up our feral goat right over there. That shot was a little bit high, but that should have came down and got vitals. And we definitely did, guys. Look at that. Nice vital hit right there. That is what I'm talking about. That is our big... I think it's a 8 or maybe a 7. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a big 7. But it's a massive stag. Nonetheless, and that's not even the same one. Holy, we got him 91 yards on the run. We were a little bit high. But we still connected on the back of that lung there and made a pretty amazing quartering away running shot on this massive stag. Look at the size of that thing. Just a great, great stag. All right, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to try and find this feral goat and figure out if the AR-223 is actually going to take him down. You know what? You guys get the point. I'm not going to sit here and track down this feral goat this entire time just to be able to show you that the 223 was not good before. You already saw we shot at it four times and we did not connect one single vital hit on that thing. Got a nice stag coming in this way as well, though. Look at this. If I could spot that, that'd be... What? Oh, it's a seven. There we go. But soon the AR-223 is going to be able to do this on white teal deer. And I cannot wait. Because if it can do that on white tails, imagine what it's going to be able to do on a coyote. Or better yet, a whole entire pack of coyotes. By the way, the shot that we just took right there was not with the AR-223. This is the AR-308 right now. But when the 223 comes out, it's going to be the exact same thing on a white tail. This is a red deer. That's the only difference. Holy, look at that penetration. Heart and lung straight at us at 150 yards. Now, this here is pretty much the exact same angle that Jaxi took on a white tail deer. I think it was like 92 yards away and it had almost the exact same amount of penetration as well on the white tail. All right, let's talk gators and crocs. As of now, the only time that you can really get them is when they're up on shore or if they're in really shallow water. But soon, 
when the update kicks in, alligators and the crocodiles are always going to be mostly on land, or at least 90% of the time. So there's a really good chance you're going to have a better opportunity to be able to get close enough and get some shots off. Not only that, the new map is going to be very open as well. So that means you'll be able to see them cutting across from one lake to the next or going along the bottom of the river bottom. You'll just see them sitting down there, you know, sunning themselves or whatever they're doing. I'm not sure what they do, to be honest, but whatever they're doing, you'll be able to see them and be able to sneak up close enough to get a shot. There we go. Just like that. For instance, this one here is very close to the water and it's only really going to be there for a little while. After maybe three hours, he'll be gone and we'll never see him again. But I feel like with the new update, that thing will be out there probably depending on the time. I would say probably like nine in the morning until 1400 at night. Similar to, I don't know, like the feed times of the Rocky Mountain Elk and the Turkey where they have basically two feed times slash rest time and then they have a drink time, but most of those times they're pretty much in the very exact location. So you can get close enough to them and be able to pull off a nice shot. Also, what I'm hoping for is that we're going to be able to get a lot more gators and crocs without watching them sink down to Davy Jones locker. You know, that shot right there is pretty much 100% covered up by that tree. So we're going to have to attempt a headshot. That is not going to be an easy feat, but we're going to attempt it. I believe we can do it. We definitely did not do it. I repeat, definitely did not do it, but we did throw for sure one good hit into him. And it should be a vital hit. That follow-up shot looked really promising to me. But yeah, the alligators and the crocs are going to have completely different behavior now. So, for example, right now, we're walking through here and we feel safe, right? Well, guess what? It is not going to be a thing that's going to be a part of the future anymore. Because now, we're going to be walking through here and all of a sudden, we could get attacked by a very aggressive gator or croc. Imagine we're going through here and all of a sudden, <laughs> comes around out of the water and just starts taking us down pull out the AR just doosh, 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 doosh. all right well that didn't really work out very good that's what I was trying to do <laughs> for some reason it felt the need to try and embarrass me as I'm mid conversation there but yeah say so he comes at us that is what's gonna happen but here's our gator flowing up over here so let's see how we did all right, we ended up getting a skull jaw shot at 239 yards. And we actually just dropped a little bit low there. You can see the brain is right there. Basically just dropped a little bit low and maybe a tad bit right. But for the most part, not a bad shot. Decent sized gator as well. Follow up shot did connect nicely on the lung and shoulder there. 364 olive. Cool looking pose actually for that gator. It's pretty rare that you get a pose just like this. I mean, it legitly looks like a freaking dinosaur, like a T-Rex opening its mouth, you know? Look at that. Roar. Yeah, another example would be walking through the edge of the swamp just like this, right? Where, say you don't have the tracks on, and you don't really know if there's any animals around. All of a sudden, right in that brush there, there could be a seven foot, eight foot bedded crocodile laying right there. And next thing you know, you're just walking past, minding your own business, and all of a sudden you hear, Roar. Or whatever they make the sound. Next thing you know, they take you underwater and you're done for. Got another one sitting out over there and I can't even... Oh, there it is. No wonder why I couldn't see it. I was like, where in the heck is it? Yeah, it is a hissing sound. Did you hear that? I just heard it right now. Uh, but I was trying to spot this thing, but it's actually in the water right there. And I do believe it may pop up on shore right here. So if we're lucky, we might be able to time this just right. Why can't I spot it? That was weird. That was really weird. Uh, I don't actually know if we got that or not. That would have been a perfect shot had we been leading him more, but we couldn't because this stump is right here. So it's one of those things where uh, we're going to have to get really lucky. See, I led that one. 
Yeah, that thing's done for. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was absolutely smoked. And it does appear we got the other one as well because it's floating up right there. So maybe our shots did in fact connect after all. But for instance, we're not going to be able to cross through the swamps like this. Gone are the days that we're taking shortcuts in order to get there a little bit quicker because as we're going across this water here, we could get eaten pretty quickly. Come on, 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 come on. I feel like we're moving. There we go, finally. And we should definitely reload our AR because that was our last shot. But pretty cool little bonus. Took down two gators right here. A male and a female. Yeah, that's a female. First shot, double lung, spine, spine. Yeah, that thing was pretty much done for. And here's the six. Nice gold potential. Lung, liver. Wasn't big enough to be gold. So our first shot did connect, actually, on the run, but just barely. And I mean, like, barely. We were aiming for right here, but because we didn't lead it enough, we hit back about a foot and did, in fact, get back a little lung, but... Yeah, just barely. Second shot tried for something and didn't get anything again. Cool pose as well. Lastly, the openness of this new map coming out is going to be quite phenomenal because we were watching part of the stream today and you could see just how vast as well as open many of the areas in the map actually are. As Jaxie was saying, there are some areas that are thick, but for the most part, it's pretty open. You know, and for example, animals like this, it's very difficult to hunt them on this map unless you're right on the edge of the water. This is really cool. I know it couldn't be better, right? No play prey. I'm so glad to see. I, I, I expect, honestly, I really do expect that the overall community is going to be so made up with this new map. It's the perfect settings for, for a good hunt. Uh, as you can see here, you know, um, it's been designed, I feel it's been designed with the hunter in mind. Yes, there are some thick sections, but there are some busy, vibrant locations spattered throughout this map that I didn't expect. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of something here. Okay, so I have two playthroughs going on right now. Most of my testing has been on my work account, but I went in on my personal account and you can see I got hung up. I got so hung up here and up here. Uh, it, it is just wild. There are POIs that we will talk about at a later date. I want to make sure that they're all dialed in. A lot of our Australian friends will be able to add some weight to these. Um, man. I just, I don't know what I can say and what I can't. So we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to keep rolling. So let's talk about a few things. There's some, uh, some business, some business to get out of the way. So I've been speaking uh, with our devs and uh, I was handed some preliminary patch notes that have brought us up to speed on, uh, you know, there's always, there's always so much happening. And to be able to hunt them, you know, in their natural habitat, just throughout the openings is going to be, a pretty special moment. And I am very much looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome hunting the fallow out in the open swamplands of Australia. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, sweet looking pig. Don't ask me about that first shot. <laughs> we had him right in the skull. I was trying to catch Hart right below the head, but his head was lifted up, so that didn't exactly connect. But the third shot, I do believe, did connect pretty good because the percentage went down really quickly. But here's our big fellow. That's got a nice rack. 198 gold. Nice double lung shot on the walk. 128 yards. Nice spotted looking bright colored fellow. Very, very beautiful looking fallow. And of course, we got our feral pig that piled up right over here. Yeah, right there, as a matter of fact. Didn't go 20 on that second or third shot. Right there, nice vital hit. And the second shot. Yeah, wasn't big enough for a gold anyways. But uh, our first shot was going right for the heart. We were a little bit forward there. Got him right in the jaw. 
Follow-up shot, got him on the run, 204 yards. Looks like double lung liver stomach shot. Absolutely centered him beautifully. Black spots, big old boar, male, feral hog. But yeah, that's it. That's going to be the new update, and I'm pretty pumped. Let me know, are you guys excited about the new update coming out soon? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, and we'll see you next time. Boy, that was sure one heck of a running shot, I'll tell you what.